Welcome to the second video in this series for the Freestyle 3D and Scene Capture software. Today we are going to be taking a look at Scene Capture on the software side of the Freestyle 3D. On the home page there is a list of all completed projects. In this case there are no stored projects, so there's nothing to show here. However, we can change what information is shown here by clicking the column in the top right of the screen. This changes the information on this screen. The order can be changed by clicking the Sort By button and picking another option. Specific information can be searched by name in the search bar. The first tool on the home screen is the Calibrate command located in the top left of the screen. The button itself is the shape of the Freestyle 3D and will be one of four colors. Red indicates that the calibration has failed and the device will need to be recalibrated before moving forward. Amber or yellow will indicate that one of the sensors on the Faro Freestyle 3D is out of alignment and the device should be recalibrated before moving forward. Green means the device is calibrated and ready to operate. Or gray, meaning there is no device connected. The next tool, the right of the calibration tool, is the white balance command. The white balance is used to color balance images. This command helps to level out discrepancies in an image. The record command is located to the right of the white balance and is used to switch the Freestyle 3D on and off. This function may be used to begin scanning if the scanner is out of reach or if a separate operator is switching the device on and off. The next few options are not active here without images to review, but they are as follows. An automatic level to assess measurements, the ability to view all of your captured scans and to rotate them, the individual point size within your images, and two options to change the viewing orientation. The option menu is next and contains many options relating to how the Faro Freestyle 3D interacts with a computer or tablet. Within this menu, the depth can be changed and the follow camera, detect marker, and flash can all be switched on and off. The saving location can be updated, and finally, the name of the project can be updated. This is useful to ensure all scans for a specific project will be stored under the appropriate project title. 